Welcome to the installation instructions of technical equipment and accessories of Harvia Spa Modules. In the following, you will see how to install a steam pipe for a steam sauna. We will also give advice on how to install a heat cable, a ventilation outlet, lights and fasteners to attach possible products to wall and ceiling panels. Remember, before you start, all elements made of XPS material must be covered with fiber cloth and elastic tiling cement. Then, apply water insulation on that, covered by finishing materials. You can also use Tadillac, a Moroccan stucco technique, or other similar building stucco products instead of tiles. Let's start with installing the steam pipe. We'll need these tools, a drill, a 45 millimeter hole saw, and hand saws to use if the hole saw does not go through the XPS material, that is, the wall or ceiling panel. We'll need these materials, an 18 to 28 millimeter diameter copper pipe, some heat resistant insulation material, for example, Armaflex or Parak Isover. The work sequence is this. Mark the dimensions on the wall. Cut a round hole in the wall panel. Cover the steam pipe with the insulation material. Insert the steam pipe through the hole. Please note, the steam pipe must be 20 to 30 centimeters above the floor. The steam pipe must be covered with the insulation material before putting it in through the round hole. Now, let's install a heating cable. We'll need these tools. A drill and a 12 to 15 millimeter diameter bit. A top milling machine with a hole saw for wood, diameter 18 to 22 millimeters. We'll need these materials. A heating cable suitable for the selected dimensions. A sensor cable and its protective neck. Some electrical tape. The work sequence is this. Mark the dimensions and the groove lines on the panel or the bench. Mill grooves into both the heating cable's panel and the sensor cable's panel or the bench. Drill a hole through the panel or the bench for the heating cable's and the sensor cable's exit. Insulate the sensor cable's ends and fix the cable to its place with some tape. Install the sensor cable. Cover the grooves with elastic tiling cement. Install the heating cable in its groove. Please note, the milled grooves must be at least 6 centimeters and at most 12 centimeters apart. Do not cut the heating cable. If needed, install the surplus inside a wall panel. The grooves must be covered with elastic tiling cement to protect the heating cable against burnout. Read the cable manufacturer's instructions too. How to install a ventilation outlet. We'll need these tools. A drill. A hole saw with a diameter suitable for the ventilation outlet, so either 100 or 125 millimeters. Just in case, place a handsaw near you. If the hole saw doesn't cut it, the handsaw helps you finish the job. We'll need these products. A ventilation outlet with a diameter of 100 or 125 millimeters. The work sequence is this. Mark the dimensions on the panel. Cut a ventilation opening through the panel or the ceiling. Please note, install the ventilation outlet through the round opening only after the tiling and jointing works. See the generator manufacturer's instructions for the ventilation outlet's permitted distance from the temperature sensor. Lighting for a steam sauna. Possible light sources, fiber optics, LED light strip, and flush mounted spotlight. Let's start with installing fiber optics. We'll need these tools. A drill with a wood bit. The bit's diameter must be four to six millimeters. A handsaw. The product being installed is this fiber optic cable. The work sequence is this. Mark the dimensions on the panel. Drill openings through the panel or the ceiling. Choose the pattern as you like. Put the optical fibers through the ceiling panel. Please note, cut the optical fibers to size only after the tiling and jointing works. The lighting cable must have an IP67 marking. Follow the cable manufacturer's instructions throughout the installation. Installing an LED light strip. We'll need this product, LED light strip. 
An LED light strip can be installed in two ways. Installing the LED light strip directly on a tiled element, or the LED light strip can also be installed in a milled and tiled groove. Choose the groove's width and depth as you like or as fits the tile. Please note, the LED light strip is glued in place and only after the tiling and jointing works. The LED light strip must have an IP67 marking. Install and cut the LED light strip according to the manufacturer's instructions. Now let's start fastening various products to XPS elements. For example, we chose a TV mount. We'll need these tools. A drill and a hole saw with the end diameter of 18 to 20 millimeters. A glue gun. We'll need these products and materials. A TV mount. Some PU glue, either worth or similar. A plastic profile suitable for the TV mount's dimensions. The work sequence is this. Mark the TV mount's dimensions and draw a hole on the panel. Mill the hole through the panel. Put some glue in the hole. Install and fasten the plastic profile in the holes. Let the glue in the fastened plastic profile's holes cure for 24 hours. Then install the TV mount with screws to the plastic profile. Please note, the glue's curing time is 24 hours. Fasten the TV mount with screws to the plastic profile only after the tiling and jointing works. And finally, let's install a glazed door. We'll need these tools. A drill and a hole saw with the end diameter of 18 to 20 millimeters. A glue gun. We'll need these materials. Some PU glue, for example, worth. A plastic profile suitable for the door hinge dimensions. Door hinges. The work sequence is this. Mark the dimensions and draw a hole on the panel. Mill holes for the door hinges. Put some glue in the holes. Install and fasten the plastic profile in the holes. Fasten the door hinges with screws to the plastic profile. Please note, the glue's curing time is 24 hours. Install the plastic profile before the tiling and jointing works, but the door hinges must be fastened with screws to the plastic profile only after the tiling and jointing works. Use a water softener. We recommend using a water softener to improve the water quality and to extend the service life of the steam generator and the heating elements. Please use suitable personal protective equipment, gloves and goggles at all times.